Hello everybody and happy Tuesday. I'm Patty with Studio R12 Stencils. I am Carrie, also with Studio R12 Stencils. What a cool Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. Today we have so much fun for you guys. And I'm gonna let Carrie start. You want me to start? Mm -hmm. I will start talking. I will start drinking. Hi, yes. Yeah. Yes. It has been, let me tell you, it has been a Tuesday. Today. It's been a wild morning. Um you'll have to go to our Instagram page and check out our story. We had to call in reinforcements today with with painting and we had hands on hands painting all kinds of things so you'll have to go check out we we pulled dustin in um welcome to studio r12 stencils we go live every tuesday on youtube and facebook and we answer your questions about painting and stenciling and crafting and diy projects and really just you know tell you what you want to know yeah. and also give you some things that we think you should know along the way when you are doing any craft artsy yeah. project just to make it easier and simpler mm -hmm. like we make so earlier i said we make i make the mistakes so that you all can learn i did goofy stuff earlier and it was like i'm learning again you know but yeah. i do that I, I push the envelope i try new things this weekend i went on a search and destroy through eight stores in Huntington, West Virginia, and met one of our stencil fans in person. And um, it was just like, that's my job is to like stir the craft pot. Yep, you know? and then my job is to be a fisherman and, <laughs> and pull her back in. Back in. <laughs> Truth. Um, so if you are new, welcome. Please let us know in the comments. We always like to see who our newbies are that are coming joining us for the first time. If you are new, you might not be signed up for our newsletter yet. And even if you've been here for a while, you might have neglected that. And we want to recommend going to studior12.com. You'll get a spinny wheel. You can put in your email address, spin the wheel, probably get a discount on your first order. And then you will be in the know about everything that we have going on. We have a new segment, What to Paint Wednesday. And I'm pretty excited about um, what's coming tomorrow. Spring is underway. So things are coming that you might want to prepare for. Um, and then on our YouTube channel. So we do this live on Tuesdays on YouTube. And then we also try to release on Saturdays a, a fun lesson yeah. that is project based but also technique based mm -hmm. so even if you look and you're like i don't know that i'm going to paint that for my house we still recommend that you watch yeah the, the techniques are what we're after so like if i teach crackling as part of the rugged old church mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're going to church it just means that i'm crackling on the rugged old church but the crackling lesson would work on a bushel of apples project you know like so you can take those lessons and you can apply them across and even the things that we do on the lives are that way as well. Right. Um, we show you how to foil. We don't tell you what you have to foil on. Yep. We just have to show it on something, so we might as well make something pretty. Speaking of foil, last week on our YouTube ah. channel, Patty showed off painting on tissue boxes. And the reason I brought up both of them, this was our original sample, and our stencil fans voted on five different boxes, and this is the one we chose. But with these how to use two different honeycombs and so i kind of wanted you to see side by side the difference in the two honeycombs and how they look when they are um when they're foiled yeah and i actually just picked up the inverse by accident but i was like oh this is really cool to no, see them super like cool. that yeah so i love that and then also this one has been finished all the way this one is raw listen to this you can feel and you can hear the difference well, you can in the see feel of the it. Difference. Yeah. It's take your projects all the way to the finish line. And then if you have a project that is unvarnished, unfinished, unwaxed, um, if you scratch at it, you'll get little scuff marks. Mm -hmm. And you can erase those with like a damp cloth. But it's really important to do a finished coat on your projects yeah. so that you can um, not damage them later. Yes, and then on YouTube this week, I don't know, do we want to show it or do oh. we just do we just want to say um, there's fire involved? We're painting with fire. We're painting with fire this Saturday on yeah. YouTube. You want to check it out. And I think that we're just going to leave it at that. We showed yeah. you guys over the, um, earlier this week some of the things that Patty bought and we had people pointing out, is there a blowtorch on that table? And a it's fire not, extinguisher? It's not a metaphorical fire. It's a real it's fire. It's a real, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not, we're not painting fire. We've painted fire we before, painted but fire. we are we painting, fire on the wall. yes, we are painting with yeah. fire. We're painting with fire. 
And I didn't realize how, how satisfying, how easy, how fun it would be. Like I, I was kind of stressed out going into it because I'd not done it before. And so then of course I have to go do it. Like I, I hate a YouTube video that starts out with, I've never tried this. Um, so why would I listen to you? And so I absolutely had to try it and mm -hmm. had to learn the things. And so I was doing it and it was like, oh my God, this is the best. So you guys are yeah, gonna love it. It is cool. amazing. And it smelled great in it here. Smelled it smelled like a campfire. It smelled like a campfire in here yesterday. <laughs> but no smoke, that was interesting. Yeah. yeah, so it was actually very fun. Yeah, and this is actually, our plan for this is to make this part of a little series where mm -hmm. we're gonna show you some snippets every week about how to do the background and then how you can build on the background mm -hmm. and then how you can stencil on it and some tips for this particular background and how with a busy, a busy yeah. burnt background, how you stencil on it. So we're going to be covering this project for a little while for you guys. It's going to be so much. And I found new mediums um, that I was looking for and they work as described and I can't wait to share about those yep. too. It's really, really exciting. Um, I always love new paint things in color. Yes, 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 yes. Um, before we get started, I do have a quick question from Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther said, is purple going to be treated the same as red? I had to use five coats last week. Yeah, you know, anything that's deeply pigmented is going to be like that. If it, if it reads bright, then it's going to be transparent. So if you have bright yellow, now if you have lemon, let me grab out paint. If I have, am I here or here? Okay. If I have out bright and I have out creamy lemony, this one's going to coat in like two coats. This one's going to take like seven. So anytime something is bright, that's when you're going to have a problem. And like, so this pink would not coat very well and this pink would because it's got a lot of white in it. So um, that is how you tell. Good to know. Yeah. Good, good question. It's a yeah. very good question. Um, and I do, I do have a sale for you guys today, but I'm going to let Patty get started and I'm going to interrupt her. Yes, please do. I to, always interrupt to talk Carrie. About <laughs> always, always. I get so excited. Actually, I think about everybody in our company does that. Um, so it's just who we are. And um, we're like a big old family at like Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. So what we are doing today, I'm going to show you one example um, on the Dollar Tree stuff. This is one of the placemats from the Dollar Tree, and they are at 125. Um, and you know this is pretty enough, but they make a really good flexible um, surface, and they're so cheap. And so we have our anyway tray, which we for just daily use we put our um, our monogram, and then. We have, we did a wood, you know, happy fall. So we put that in there. So what I love about the anyway tray is it goes where you can drop that in there and now you have a fall tray and you didn't have to buy a whole nother tray. So love that. And then we painted on another one of our, was this a live? Yes. Yeah. So another live and we did just like a lemonade and you could do a color or whatever you wanted. And then that can drop in there. So that's on one of those placemats and we show you in that live how to prep the plastic that's very important and so then if you want to keep dropping in different seasons it's super easy to just swap out your season i love season swapping so today we are talking all things let me get organized here all things paisley we um it was very interesting i went on to pinterest and i was looking for paisley um just to see kind of what things were inspiring people. And we have like seven Paisley stencils and they're all just a little bit different. Um, they're all boho, bohemian. Um, they could be country, they could be lemonade, they could be, you know, whatever color, insert everything. It's so American. I feel like Paisley, I don't know, if you guys know where Paisley originated, I'd love to know about that. Kind of almost seems like it might be French. Yeah. I'll but we've embraced Paisley in America. So this is one of our Paisley stencils. And what we've done is we've done a couple examples and we're going to show you how to paint on another Dollar Tree um, surface. So just a beautiful, beautiful stencil. Um, I love, love, love it. Okay, so that being said, mm -hmm. the Paisley stencil that Patty is holding is a 12 by 12. 
This is called the Paisley Floral Burst stencil that we have. We have several Paisley stencils, mm -hmm. but this specific one is the it's Paisley this only Floral for this. Burst. Yeah. You can get the one in Patty's hand. Well, not that specific one, but not, 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 you're not gonna not get that stencil. one, but you're going to get the 12 by 12 Paisley Floral Burst stencil for free today with purchase. With and it's any purchase. With any purchase, only one per customer. Yeah. You can buy anything. You're gonna add the Paisley Floral Burst 12 inch stencil to your cart, and then you're gonna use the code Paisley at checkout. I put all of this in the, the description, and I have also shared it in the comments. Cool. And it was also in the newsletter this morning. Ah, get over Aha. on that newsletter and sign up for that. Um, you guys, we put, like that's, so social media, not everybody's on social, not everybody's mm -hmm. on, you know, the Instagram, like I don't really Instagram. Um, I'll Facebook for family updates and all that kind of stuff, um, community stuff. But I don't TikTok and I don't do any of that stuff. Um, Carrie is brilliant at that. But um, the newsletter is where you're going to find out everything that we're doing. Um, yeah. That's the new, it's like, that's the, the mother load, if you will. And it's where you're going to find savings. So savings are what you want. And we might, we might share some deals on our Facebook mm -hmm. page every now and then. But not that like, doesn't not mean like our newsletters. It doesn't mean it's all the deals. Like yeah. we might say, hey, here's a collection that's on sale today. Mm -hmm. But in the newsletter, there might have been an additional 10% off coupon for the whole website. Yeah. And so it's kind of like the newsletter is the place to be. Yeah, I agree. I if you love to craft then DIY craft, then that's where it's at. Okay. So with this, we're gonna show you a couple of examples in how you manage a pattern background stencil. So everything is pattern backgroundy. Okay, so this is this Paisley stencil, the one that you can get free with any purchase. Um, and so what I've done here is I've put it in the background of this little craft project that I did here. So we've got a cute little purple wood bunny, a little piece of burlap, and then put it over a background painted with insert any kind of background, but I think the Paisley just makes it just really a little a vibe. It has kind of like a little um, hippie vibe, I think. Yeah. I just love this, so it's super cute. So that's a neat, fun way that you can um, use your Paisley stencil as, as a background and then put things on top of it. You could put a wood board, you could frame it, you could do all of those things. Okay, so that one fit over the top and it was easy um, to paint and I just did literally one coat of swirling. So then we come over here. Dustin helped us out with this one today. This is on the placemat. And so this one, we use multiple colors and I actually, I'm like Carrie, I like it better this way. We were talking about putting a band down here and you could put like family or some kind of word down here if you colored a band in the blue or the, you know, the orange. <clears throat> So what happens when your stencil is only 12 by 12? I'm gonna to switch to this guy. Your stencil's only 12 by 12, what do you do now? So sometimes, let me see if I can get it arranged the same way, okay? Sometimes you could go over here, and maybe this is better, because, doo -doo -doo. yeah. You could lay it this way, and you know, connect your dots, if you will, and lay that there, and it does repeat. Okay, so with this one, you could just lay it right next to it and you could repeat going over. Um, but I, when I, we were looking at it on the computer screen, that was an easy way for us. I didn't care necessarily for the big, the big kahuna here repeating in the same position. So then we played with this stencil. If we changed it, could we position it so that it would get along with everything that we've done? And indeed you can, so you can turn this any of the ways and then just repeat what you were stenciling so you can totally make that pattern and then you can also so say you're here and you've do, 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 this is sound effect day um so you're here and then you could drop this down and it would be the repeat or you could lay different ones of these that you wanted to have on there in this space and just fill in. So I think that's a really good lesson to do. And then um, on this project, it took two multi-maskers. Um, if you guys don't have one of these and you stencil, you need one of these because you know the thing that you do when your brush is too big and you're too close to the thing next to the, the other hole in the stencil that you don't want that color is you're going to make a mess in that hole 
and then you're gonna have to dig yourself out. So these are meant so that if I am, let's lay this down here, because we changed colors, then it made it harder to do. So I would lay, I'm pretending I'm gonna do this little guy right here. I would lay this guy here, and then if I'm working on this side, I would use a smaller brush, and I would stipple, not swirl. If you swirl, you're gonna get big, and then if you get big, you're gonna get in other places you don't want paint to be. So then you swirl, and you do that, and then you can take these off, and you can move them around. So these are made so that they bend around. So if I was on this blue line, I might swish, I might swirl straight by just like swiping. And then we just drop it down and we just move it around as we move through the stencil. So this is what makes that doable. Um, Dustin was, I, I just got late. I had an interview this morning that put my whole day off into another world and um, just made me late. And so Dustin came in and he picked this up and I think he came in at 11 and I think he finished about 1140, something like that, 45 maybe. And so this is important, like this, this is a lot of detail and a lot of color changes and stuff. And how you can manage your color changes is you lay your stencil down and I would do, I'm gonna not lay my stencil down, I would do everything blue if I knew where I wanted it to go. So if you don't have a map, then you might need to be peeking and looking under. But we had a color example. It's always good to have a color example. And so you do all of your blues first, then do all of your reds at once, and then you're not going back and forth between your brushes, and it's, it gets a little cumbersome if you do it that way. So all the blues, all the yellows, all the oranges, and then you'll be done in a snap. And I think 45 minutes for this amount of yeah. color changing is a really good yeah. amount of time. Agree. Okay, so let's talk about Paisley. Okay. Paisley. Ah! dates back to the Indo-European cultures of over 2,000 years ago. Whoa! Um, the design originated in India back in the 11th century. And that makes sense. That makes so much sense, actually, because this is going to look bohemian. Mm -hmm. And what is bohemian but like the, of the Indian kind of um, look? That's great. I love that. Um, yeah, and you can color this. I saw it colored online in blue and white. Um, I saw it, and it, like... Honestly, I was going to just do this one with just a block of the paisley and no bunny, no burlap. But um, I love the idea of the frame that it makes. And it just, if you did four of these on a wall, it would look amazing. Well, and you could even, I'm gonna roll this around. You, you could back even here, paint paisley on mm. a ribbon. We have paisley ribbon but you could paint it on the burlap even, yeah. or paint it on ribbon, and then make your own in whatever size you wanted it. Yeah, and honestly, all of the um, pattern stencils that we have, I'm looking at this um, here today, and you know, just in the red row, we have tiny polka dots, we have that um, pattern stencil, mm -hmm. we have the chevrons, mm -hmm. we have the plaid, we have, we have all of this, so you can yeah. actually, get a roll of plain red ribbon and make it anything you want. Yes. And if you're crafting to craft versus crafting to sell, that makes brilliant sense because then you're saving money and it's not going to cost you a lot. Yeah. So now we're going to go to another Dollar Tree find. Um, we went shopping three weeks ago. Yeah. Something like that. And we found, I, I think I spent $100 at the Dollar Tree, you guys. <laughs> I don't know that that's possible. It was possible. We did it. It was like $98 or something like we that. We definitely did yeah. it. We have a time lapse of us checking out that it's day. So much. And we have, um, no offense to our local store, but we're a small town. So I think we get everything left over from y'all's Dollar Tree. And we do not get wonderful Occasionally things. we do. There's There were a couple of things yeah. that I had seen on TikTok that people are using now that they have. Mm. The domes yeah, yeah. and the, the planters. And we did get domes, which yeah. I guess they sell out everywhere. Um, okay, so this is our surface. And what we love about this is, listen to this. This is hard, so hard, good. hard board. It is, hello, hello crafters. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all got a chuckle. Oh, um, 
You got me that um, If you don't know about me, I have five sons, and you got to take those moments when you get them because sons. Okay, anyway, um, so this is hardboard, and it's just so durable feeling. And so we loved that it felt like wood. Um, it's just super, super, super strong. And can you hand me the Krylon matte finish right up there in the middle? Yeah, right there. You got it. No. <laughs> Sound effect day. Okay, so um, what I did is I took this. It's basic. Steve peeled the sticker off the back for me. I could not get it off. Um, and then we take the Krylon matte finish. 1311, if you don't know what to finish something with, this is what I recommend you starting with. Now, what I finish the placemats with is not this because this didn't quite do the trick. So there's a trick up our sleeve. You can go to the video that Carrie will probably link. Yes, in. I already did. Oh, she already did it. Yes, I don't, I don't know what goes on back over here. So um, anyway, so that's not what we did, but I want you to go check out that other video. Anyway, but we sprayed this, two coats. I went all one direction and then one other direction like that. And, um, and that makes it so it will take some paint. Now we have issues, okay? My stencil, Houston, we have issues. And I'm just figuring this out. <laughs> okay, when you paint on something that is that lays over the edge like that, you see how it's like draping down over and it's like sad? Well, it's lifting up here. And so that makes it so I don't have good contact with my stencil. Now you could do a couple of things. You could use an adhesive on the back side of your stencil and you could stick it down. Okay, that's fine, that's good, that works. Um, but what I like to do is number one, I like to level out my surface. So I found some two by fours, Just stuff those in there. And that's gonna make my surface flat. I'm gonna go ahead and make that edge to edge. So I'm good and supported. So when I'm pouncing, I'm not gonna go, we can make this funny, boing, 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 boing. We don't like that. So when you pounce, you want it to be more sturdy. Okay, so then if I want to go over the top of this, so we're gonna secure our stencil. And then I don't have any place to purchase. Purchase means contact. I don't have a place that I can tape. because Well, I do right here actually. But if I move it like this, I do not. So what I can do is I can pick a big spot and I can tape right through the big spots. Okay, and then I'm going to remove that and I'm gonna move it away because I want it to be even so that I can show the example. But I could tape here and here and always in two spots. If you don't tape in two spots, then your stencil will shift, like I mean hardcore shift, and you will be sad. So I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Can you see okay? A couple people said they can't find the wood binders. They said we must have bought all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought three. Four. Four. Oh, we, mm, I kind of wanted one for myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, and they're wonderful, you guys. I mean, this is really a sweet. recipe book mm -hmm. for a wedding gift. We were talking about that this yes. week. Um, two people that we know, um, their favorite present that they got at a wedding at a, at a wedding was um, uh, recipes from their family. So you could make a whole book of that. You can do a baby book. You could do journaling. You could do oh, so many yeah. things. Like Yeah, it's very sturdy. It's a binder. It's a binder. <laughs> you can do all the binder things. Okay. So now we're going to shake our black. And that we're still leaning over with our stencil just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... Straighten my glasses and load my brush so I'm ready to go. You can do a couple of things. Slide. Sometimes just getting organized is like the thing. So you find something that will lift that up just a little bit. And so now I can push that down instead of having to, um, you know, put pressure there. Okay. And so now we're going to swirl. Did I dry it all off? Chatty patty. Chatty patty. It is a true statement. So while you're doing that, I have another color question. Okay. When it comes to, let me find it, fuchsia, could you take the fuchsia color and tone it down with a white or a cream? So fuchsia 
Pink is dangerous. Pink is a dangerous color. And let's just, well, I'll go ahead and throw it out there. Patty hates painting with pink. <laughs> Carrie's really good at it. <laughs> the funny thing is I hate the color pink, so I don't know why it works, but it works sometimes when I use it. <laughs> pink is, it dries very pink. And so like you think you're like backing off on a color and it just dries mm -hmm. pink. Well, what's going to happen if you take fuchsia and you, um, you go and use white with it, you're going to, um, sorry, talking and working does, that's why I don't get any work done. Oh, oh, that's oh, why. no, I get lots of work done, but um, I just can't paint at the same time. Um, anyway, but you are going to get a really bright light pink. So you got to kind of go into it and Carrie, can you look up on the color wheel? So pink is a red. Mm -hmm. It can be a purple though. So like this is sort of pink, but it's like an orchid. And so it's sort of purple, but they're by right. each other on the color wheel. So What's green, green is the okay. opposite. So you could add a touch of a light green or something like that in there. And that's going to tone I'm going to pop up and not yep. um, trim it over the I'm not. I'm... We got Carrie wedged in. St Steve, can I have you go grab me the, um, the growth chart over there behind the Merry Christmas, please? Thank you. I was stuck. Those of you who are new to painting, I want to point out that every time I load my brush, I scumble off and offload. Oh God. So I, the, reason, <laughs> the reason that I, that I brought this out is because we use green and pink together on this. And then we mixed a little bit of the pink in the green so that it came together yeah. on this project. And I painted this project for one of our videos, but Patty came in with the lesson because I would have never thought about doing that yeah. so that they weren't too far off, even that they're opposites on the color yeah. wheel. It, it blends them as a family. Mm -hmm. And your your opposite colors are going to be um, your opposite colors are gonna be the things that make things sparkle. So mm -hmm. for example, if I had a um, Christmas would be green and red. Mm -hmm. You always see green and red. And so then spring, you're going to see purple and yellow. And so that's why they're so like vibrant is because they pop off of each other. And that's Carrie is organized and Patty is not. And so her skills accent my skills. Yeah. And vice you know? versa. Yeah. Yeah. So we totally understand that. And that is what color theory is, is it's just using your contrast or your opposites yeah. to, to manage. And then... Use your little disposable palette sheets and then just mix a little bit and see. So Play with it. it. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for that lesson. Thanks for that question, too. Yeah, I love the questions. The questions are powerful because you guys, everything you're asking, somebody else wants to know. Well, and that being said, our friend Patty Reitz just said, I'm having so much fun mixing the perfect colors for my project. Your blending ideas have helped so much. Um, and Patty, I want to say to you to make sure if you're mixing something very specific, like a background color, get a little paint pot thing, film canister if you have them, um, pill bottle, whatever you've got that is a little mm -hmm. container. Put some in there so that you have that little bit set back so that you can either put it there and mix like it or use it as your backup color. So just... Say I made a mistake on here and I didn't base coat this a color. I'm, I'm painting right on the board. Um, then I've got to be able to patch that. So always having a patch color is a really good idea. Yeah, agreed. And I want to give a shout out to our friend Carol, who is joining us on YouTube from South Africa. Hi, Carol. She is a beginner and says she loves what we do. And we are super excited about that. And she said it's um, 1,800 hours there. So that's, what, 6 p.m.? Yes. So it's 6 p.m. there. Yep. And then, um, so see how fast this goes when you swirl as well. So those of you who are new at this, swirl, please. Um, swirling makes it go so fast. I mean, I don't know. How long have I been? Five minutes, maybe? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's not. So shall we peek and see how it's looking? Yes. Steve, you got me down here? Peek, hey, please. Okay. Huh? Just trying to figure out where your peel is. Yep. Oh, right here? Yep. yep. Okay. So, ta-da, look how great that it looks. It's so beautiful with my stuff inside of it. I know, right? <laughs> Carrie's always like, I'm taking this home. I'm taking, I have, 
I still have that grow pot, the the pot that I painted. It's still out there, but I mean, it's tempting, isn't it? It is. I had said that I wasn't taking it until I moved, and now that She's we're moved, moved and it's almost time, it's probably going to disappear. Soon. Um, all of the street signs that we made, the mermaid street sign is going. Um, at my pool and the hunter one is going to my friend and the Roran and Leah are going to my grandson yep. So yeah, it's so fun you guys to paint for family and friends Steve's got one of the ones that I painted on an early live that um, he and his wife have in their house mm -hmm. um, And then I've got a really big one that I painted. Yeah. you know same, you know, it's just so fun um, And go ahead. We do have a question Patty asked have you tried stenciling on bamboo? I'm not what kind of bamboo like a like a bamboo cutting boards and stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that totally would work. Totally would work. You just when you paint on something new, you want to use like vinegar wash or a degreaser if you think it's been waxed. Um, you can use um, alcohol. Alcohol will remove paint, so you want to be careful if you want the paint that's on your surface to stay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can just totally. De denature it. I'm not saying use denatured. I don't even know what denatured alcohol is, but um, so note I'm coming on this side. Sorry, changing subject. I want to lift that up just a little bit. I don't like it when they swoop down. Um, I like it to, I'd rather have it poof up than swoop down. Our friend Vicki said, watching Patty paint is so relaxing for me. I could watch her all day. Oh, wait, sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys, funny story, um, we're going to be painting on a stepping stone coming soon. So if you can get round stepping stones, that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to get them now because they never carry them past like June. Yep. They're always gone. So I think Menards, um, did, where'd you say you got yours? Um, Do It Center? Center might be a local thing. Yeah. yeah. So Do It Center, your local hardware stores. Um, and so now my little thing is moving like this. So I got to get that like stabilized. But um, get them now and get you one because they're amazing. And I will show you how to paint that so that it makes a giant paint sandwich. And I had mine um, outside for two years. And then I took them to trade shows without doing anything to them but wiping them off. And they sold instructions and stencils and everything for them. So I will show you how to get that outdoor stuff so it doesn't chip off and it can be in the sunshine and not fade. So that lesson is coming. I yes. think it's like four weeks from now, or something somewhere in there. Don't don't count that date. That something like that. Okay. Um, Jackie asked, would it be the concrete stepping stone? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Just they're round formed, and you can make your own if you're into that. Okay. Now I've taken that tape off, and I'm going to stuff that tape someplace else so I don't slide. If you slide when you have a busy pattern like this, it's harder to align. So it's better to just give yourself a couple pieces of tape do the thing so now i'm going where the tape was and now i'm going to lift off are you ready mm -hmm. dun, dun, ready. Dun. La, la. I love it. that's, so, that's so pretty you guys mm -hmm. so this is what we think we think that everybody needs a paisley in their library of stencils and so if you want a paisley stencil for free then all you have to do is place an order for anything on studior12.com Today only, what's today's Today only, date? today is 321-23. It's my cousin's birthday. Yes. So um, any order, get it free. Okay, mm -hmm. so now what, we're, what are we gonna do down here? We're gonna go ahead and patch. So I could do a little bit of big guy over here. I'll do him over here. And then we always wanna put our little tapes back on. So I'll tuck him in. I love that our stencils are um, see-through. They're not like transparent, like, you know, glass, but they're, you can see through them. Some of them are a dark color and stuff like that, so it's harder to deal with. So I'm just going to go and put this piece in there. I'm going to lift. And now I've got that one there. Now I'll find something to put over yonder. And as you guys are getting on, so we have, um, I think, five different paisley pattern stencils so when you click into the products make sure that you're going through all of the photos so for the product that we're showing you guys today the one that you can get for free 
We have examples of what it would look like painted on your wall in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have an example of what it would look like on a black square with pops of color, and that's one that we actually painted here. We have ideas showing it painted on a round with banding and a welcome word on it. So make sure if you're looking for ideas that you scroll through, because with these, we talked about in the newsletter today that they can be used as background stencils with something on top of it. They can be used as full art stencils where you just paint on a surface and pop it up there. They can be pattern stencils, which is what we're using it for. To, well, right now it's kind of a mix between art and pattern, but there are so many different ideas and we tried to give some examples of different colors and different ways to use them when we put these products online. Yeah, and that's Elaine that's doing mm -hmm. a lot of that. Um, so if you guys get a chance to put that in the comments to be like, thank you, Elaine, for inspiring yes, thank us. You, because Elaine. she, mm, there was a recent uh, moment where she had 180 <laughs> items to make mock-ups for, and it's like no easy job to do. And she, sucked it up and said okay here i go and we appreciate her tremendously okay so this is our little dollar tree binder with just no base coat i just left it the way it is and i could travel all the way around i could do something on the spine oh you know it would be fun seed packets in here you guys if you use mm -hmm. seed packets um what are they they are I think they're just photo sheets yeah. that fit in a regular binder. Mm -hmm. yeah, the trading cards are too big. The seed packets are yeah. too big. So a regular like photo sheet in here. You can put your seed packets in there and then you could put like tomatoes with our new, um, um, our seed, put in markers, our seed yeah, marker seed stencils. Markers. Mm -hmm. So you could put um, seeds, you could put words, you could put inspire, dream, mm -hmm. um, all the things. So yeah, I love it. All right, any more questions? Um, I don't think so right now. I think that, I think we're good to go. All right, you I guys, really thank you that. so, so much for being here today and make sure you leave comments for us. We love comments and give us a thumbs up. That doesn't hurt anybody and subscribe and ring the bell. Yep. See you next time.